Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 18th of 2023. Well, it is titled WR134 Ring Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of a nebula in the form of a ring. Now there is another nebula known as the ring nebula, which is a planetary nebula or the end state of a star much like our own sun. In this case, this is not this is part of the material around a very hot young star instead of an old dead star. And it's a star known as a Wolf Rayet star. Now these are extremely hot and bright stars and they are very energetic. So extreme amounts of energy being emitted and outer layers are being expelled. The amount of energy being generated is so much that outer shells are being pushed out of material from around this star. So a lot of the material we see here is not what is pushed out at the end of the life of a star, but as the star is still going through its life. Now Wolf Rayet stars are many times more massive than our sun. But because of their intense gravity, they have very high pressures, very high densities and very high temperatures at their cores and they go through their energy many times faster. So even if they have 50 times the mass of our own sun, meaning they'd have 50 times the amount of fuel, they will go through it millions of times faster and quickly run through their lives. So they do not last a very long time. Many of these only lasting maybe even a million years, which is very short time frame, especially when we talk about stars like our sun, which can last for 10 billion years. So here we see that those outer regions around the star that have been pushed out. Now we're looking at the colors of three different types of gas that are here. And we're looking specifically at the narrow bands of emission of three specific elements. And those are hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen gas. So we look specifically at those because they highlight and emphasize the material in the nebula and allow us to study that in far more detail. And we can get a nice image like the one we see here today. And what will eventually happen to this is that that star will become a supernova. This is exactly the type of star that we expect to explode and end its life as a supernova explosion, creating many of the heavier elements that make up us and our Earth. So it is things like this in the very early history of the universe that formed the elements in our bodies today. That is because the Big Bang itself only produced hydrogen and helium. So all heavier elements, things like the oxygen we breathe, carbon in our bodies, uh, silicate rocks, metal, metals like iron and copper, all needed to be manufactured in stars and then expelled back out into the universe in a supernova explosion, which is what this will eventually become. So that was our picture of the day for May 18th of 2023. It was titled WR134 Ring Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Curly Spiral Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.